Hello there children, how are you today? Welcome to... Last time, kids, we had learned about the place value and value of tens and ones. Today, I am going to teach you until the place value and value of hundreds. Are you ready? Yeah! I'm sure you're ready. Let us begin. Last time, children, we said that there are three place values here. In the place value chart, we have here the ones, all the digits or numbers at the last or at the end is in the ones place. The second number is on the tens place and the number or the first number is on the hundreds place so we call these hundreds and let's see today how will this work in the ones place we said that the value of the number is the number itself and we all count them by ones so if you have here one block you have one two three four five six seven eight Nine. We said that if you have here at least nine blocks, that means nine also. And we can't add until ten. That can't be because only one digit is allowed in each box. Now, if it becomes ten, what will happen? You are correct. That will become a stack of blocks that will pile up and becomes a stack of block now it will be transferred into the tens place now here in the tens place the value is by tens each stick or each stack that you would see means 10 so here you would have until 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 but until 9 only again you can't have until 10 if it will become 10 that will be transferred again into the hundreds place and that becomes a cube okay so this cube kids that you can see here represents 100 how many very good it represents 100 not 1 not 10 but 100 so here if the number is here we will be counting by hundreds Okay, now let's take a look at some more examples. In this example, I will not put any ones and any tens, but we will just focus more on the hundreds. Here, let's count the hundreds or the cubes. One, two. So meaning 100, 200, because each cube represents 100. So we would have 100, 200. Okay, we have two hundreds. We don't have tens and ones, so we have two hundreds equals... Yes, you're correct. That's a good job. That's 200. Okay, how about on the next one? Let's take a look at this one. Let's count the cubes. One, two, three, four. How many cubes are there? Yes, four. And each cube represents 100. So it means 100, 200, 300, 400. So if we have 400s, that means... 400 since we don't have anyone here or anything here in tens and in ones okay next one one two three four five and six we got six cubes and that means 100 200 300 400 500 600 no tens no ones so that means 600 is very good 600 means 600. Why it's just 600? Because there's zero in the tens place and zero again in the ones place. This time, we will have an example with tens and ones. Let's take a look at this one. So here, we have cubes in the hundreds place. We have stacks of blocks in the tens place. And we have blocks in the ones place. All we have to do is count all these objects let's begin with the hundreds so how many hundreds are there one two three four five six seven okay very good so you got seven hundreds 
How many tens? One, two, three, four. So you got your four tens. How many ones? One, two, three, four, five. Wow, so we got here five ones. Now, what does it mean? So, the seven hundreds means seven hundred. Four tens means forty because that would count as ten, twenty, thirty, forty, remember? And here, just ones. So, we have five. Okay, seven hundred plus forty plus five is... You are all correct. That's seven hundred forty-five. You got a star for that. Good, great job. How about on this one? Okay, here, let us count again the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. So, five hundreds. How many tens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, you got here seven tens. How about the ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. So, what does it mean? Five hundreds means five hundred. Seven tens means. 70, correct, and 8 ones simply means 8. So that is 500 plus 70 plus 8 is, what do you think is the number? Yes, that's 578. That's marvelous, children. So the number is 578 because we got here 500s, 7 tens, and 8 ones. Okay. Next one. One more, one more. So here, how many hundreds? We got one hundred. How about tens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, we got nine tens. How many ones? One, two, three, four. Okay, just four ones. So what does it mean? One hundred means one hundred, of course. Then nine tens means ninety because we count it by tens. And four one simply means four. So 100 plus 90 plus four means, what's the number? Yes, you are correct again. That's a great job again, children. You have 194. Okay, now I am going to test if you had really understood the lesson. This time, I will not put any objects you will not be seeing the chart, but you will just be imagining of that in your mind. Hmm, seven hundreds, seven tens, and two ones. That means seven hundred plus seventy plus two. What do you think is the number? Aha! What is it? Yes, you're correct. That's seven hundred seventy-two. Okay, this time... I will put the number and let's try to put how many hundreds, how many tens, and how many ones are there. Okay, let's see. How do you read this number? 569. Correct. Now, let's see. How many hundreds, how many tens, and how many ones are there? You're correct. That's five hundreds, six tens, and nine ones. Yes. That's 500 plus 60 plus 9, and the number is 569. Very good, children. Last one. Okay, the number is 453. Again, 453. Let's find out how many hundreds, tens, and ones are there. How many hundreds? Yes, you got four hundreds, five tens, and three ones. That's four hundred plus fifty plus three. And the number is, yes, four hundred fifty-three. You all did a great job today, kids. And because of that, I am giving you three stars. Yay! I am giving you three stars for listening and for understanding the lesson for today. Kids, I hope that you would always remember that, that when you look at the number, you would think about its place value so that you would know its value as well. Always remember the last number is always in the ones place and that means 
the number itself. The second number is always on the tens place and that will be read by tens. And the first number there on the three digits is on the hundreds place and that will be read by hundreds. Don't forget that children for you to be able to do your math works easily. Thank you so much for listening today. Bye. God bless you all.